It is called Muzib Azala Mpanga. That is the name of that house. It got burnt in 2010. Right now, it's still under construction. These are some of the materials they use. That is spear brass. Then those are fibers for binding those branches. Uh, inside there, we have four tops. This is how it looks like. You can see here. This is how it looks like inside that the, the, the big house. And that's where they buried the king. We have four kings inside there. From Kesa one, the king, the owner of this palace, is this man here. Is this man here? When he died, he was buried inside that house, and he was succeeded by his son, Dawood Mwanga Turada. Mwanga Tu is the one who killed the Uganda matters. Have you ever heard about yes, Uganda matters? Yes. Yes. So this man is the one who killed them, and he, when he died, he was succeeded by his son, Dawood Chua. Dawood Chua became a king when he was young. This man, this man. Then later, when he died, he was also succeeded by his son, Mutesa II. Mutesa II, he was a king at the same time, the first president of the Republic of Uganda. Oh. Uh, this man. So when he died, and is the father of the current king. is the father of the current king. This government he was overthrown by, by Milton Obote and he, he was exiled to England. Then later, he died from there and his body was brought back by Idi Amin, President Idi Amin, and he was buried inside there, meaning we have four kings inside there. Here in the Buganda, they believe that kings, they don't die. They just disappear in the forest, whereby inside there, there is a separate part called a forest. That's where they put the kings. But just one, the, the king, the, in case of one, the king, the owner of this palace, had 84 wives. Yeah. Had 84 wives. Every woman had her own house. That's why you are seeing all these houses around here. Those houses, they are occupied with some ladies, with some ladies, every, every house. The original wives, they all die. They all die. But as I told you that here, they believe that kings, they don't die. The spirits of the king, they have to go back and get other women to come and replace those ones who died. So these ones who are inside those houses, they are successors. They are successors of the, the original wives. And they believe that those are their husbands. These women, if they feel like they want, she wants to meet another man outside there, she has to go inside the house and ask permission from the spirits of those kings. Once they allow her, that's when she will go out. In this place, only women who are... That, yeah. yeah, they've allowed. Okay, they have traditional traditional people who are who are responsible mm -hmm. for that, whereby the spirit goes on their head. Is that yeah. how they also get babies? I want to believe maybe they've given birth. So how do they give birth? Uh, they, they, give? Yeah, they can get birth from outside, but that child will not be royal. Oh. The child can't be royal, yes. So do yeah. they have kids? Yes, some of them they have, but most of these women, they are old. They, they come here when they are old, when they are old. First of all, here in the Uganda Kingdom, all of, they believe that all women belong to the king. Even if you are married a woman and the king loves you, he can pick you from your husband and they bring you here. <laughs> you live, you abandon your husband, then you come, you come and okay. stay in this place. In this place, it's only women who are supposed to sleep here. Men are not allowed to sleep here. Even if it's a child of those women and is mm -hmm. above 16 years, he's supposed to leave this place and go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move. Any question?